so some of you guys requested to make a video of my albondigas. Um, I had made them um, just to make them, you know. I cook. I don't record everything I cook. And I posted it on my IG and some of you guys were looking for it. That makes me very happy because that makes me, that lets me know that you guys are going um, to my YouTube page and to see, you know, my Instagram, my YouTube, you know, back and forth to see if I have the videos that I, you know, the food that I posted. I had not recorded this, so I'm going to just remake what I've made uh, that day of my albondigas. Earlier today, I did make my caldo de pollo, but I'm making some albondigas. This will be for, for tomorrow, you know. It's never too much food to cook. And since I was using almost the same ingredients. So this is what I need. I have, just because I'm going to make a little, I only have one pound of carne molida, una libra. I have one egg. You always want to crack your eggs in a separate thing before putting them anywhere because sometimes they come out bad. I have some garlic salt. I got salt, pepper. I, um, I don't have a preference in, what is this, pan molido? But I had this one in hand, and why am I going to go buy something when I already have something similar? So it's pan moldido, but this one already has seasoning, so therefore that's why I'm not using a lot of the seasonings that I usually put. I might put like oregano, and that's it. <laughs> so I just have that. Uh, carrots, carrots, potatoes, celery. This is my go-to vegetables as always. I have a very small little piece of onion, and I'm going to just... Chop it up, finely chop it, and then just put it in here. Let me show you guys how I do it. So here we go, guys. So I have a little piece of onion. I'm just going to cut it in little moons like this. And I'm just literally going to just chop it up in little, little pieces. Because I'm going to put these inside my ground beef. The more pounds you have, obviously, the little bit more. And if you don't like onions, you could just always omit this. Like, just take it out. Don't put it. Don't add it on there. But if you do, I, I suggest you finally chop it. Because, obviously, you don't want to be eating into a piece of carne. With, you know, a piece of meatball with a big chunk of onions. Up. I'm putting it here with my ground beef. I'm gonna go ahead and add my egg to the ground beef. Going to the side. I'm gonna add the garlic salt to your tasting, you know. There you go. I'm gonna add the salt. Also to your tasting, I'm going to add the ground pepper. And I'm going to add the, the pan molido, breadcrumbs. Now some, um, you might have some that they sell at the groceries without like any seasoning, that's fine. You just make sure that you add a little bit more salt. A little bit. I'm just gonna add like a, you know, can you guys see like a little bunch? My hands fist. And this is what's gonna have the this and the eggs. What's gonna help the the meatball stay together? We're gonna mix it with our hands. So hopefully you guys wash them. I know I did wash mine. So just make sure you guys wash your hands nice and finely. Guys, you guys know what I almost forgot? El arroz. We do need to add some rice. Hold on, let me call my daughter and see if she can give me the rice. Since I already have my hands in here. LSA! She was eating the caldo de pollo that I made earlier. Can you please give me some that one, that little yellow bag? Can you give me some right here in my hand? She's gonna pour it in my hand. Let's, let's it up. So it's just a little bit also, we're going to put it in there. I know it's weird, but that's, you know, when it cooks, it, it gets like, um, it's a sponja. So, so it kind of helps it stay together. 
So let's mix that egg very well in there, guys. So while we're doing this here, I already started uh, my pot. I have a pot with four cups of water. It's boiling because we want it to be boiling. So when we put this, it's already pretty hot. Okay. And we don't want it to be too sticky. This is a little bit too sticky, so I'm going to have to add more bread. So that's, you're kind of going to look like for a, a texture that's kind of, you know, something you can work with, make your little balls, but not too sticky and not too soft because then they'll dissolve in there. And you make your meatballs to the size that you want them, okay? You just make little circles. Now, like I said, you can feel free and add some stuff. I know people put like oregano on these or um, parsley and stuff. Um, it's all to your preference. We don't like that, so we don't add it. See, one pound can give you a, if you make them smaller, can give you quite an amount. But even making them like this size is pretty good. Oh, my birdies are going crazy in the background. Since we got Chance, Chance is our cat. She likes to play with them. And I know she can get in there, so I know she's not gonna harm them. But the way that they look at each other is crazy. Okay, two, four, six, eight. We got 10 meatballs out of this. Like I said, you guys can make them smaller or bigger. All up to you. Let me wash my hands really quick. So while our, our meatballs are there, in here I have two tomatoes. And un pedazo de onion, a piece of onion in there with some water, and I'm gonna blend this. And I'll show you guys why I'm gonna do this. Okay, so this is our mixture that we blended. Can you guys see it? Yeah, right here. Sorry, I have like it zoom so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna add it to my four cups of boiling water. And this is just for like color and a little bit of flavor. There's that. We're going to add consomme pas sabor. Like half a spoon of the big spoons. What are these called? I call them the big spoons. I don't know. Leave your comment down below if you guys know the name. Spanish to English, I'll understand. So, this is literally all I do to mine. I'm going to put my meatballs in here and just hope they don't dissolve. Honestly, guys, I always do them like this, but I always pray that they don't get dissolved. I don't know how this thing is going to be one day. Ojalá que not today, right? Watch it be the day. The day that I decide to record them will be the day that they get dissolved. But that's what, what the bread, the, uh, the bread and the egg... The bread, the egg, and the rice is for to keep it together. 
All right. So we're going to let them boil for a bit. And then about 10 minutes before they're done, we'll add our vegetables since our vegetables get done quickly. Um, so we'll check in. Till then, guys. So, oh shit, where did my spoon go? Hold on, guys. <laughs> We're gonna have to use this one, the la, la rosa. So, here are my albondigas. Thank goodness, they didn't dissolve. But do you, do you guys see the rice? That little thing right there. It's in sponja, like when you cook it. So, it keeps it together. So, you guys can go ahead and remove this part if you guys like. I'm gonna remove some of it. Because then it looks nasty, and you guys don't want that, right? I think that's from like the tomato. Sorry, I'm watching YouTube in the background. There's this new lady that I started following, styled by Hernandez. She's pretty awesome. I love how she does her. She does like DIYs and clean with me. She's actually. The last time, last night, as a matter of fact, yeah, last night, she literally, I started with one video, then I started watching all her videos, and it motivated me to clean my house, like, last night, that's why I said everything was done this morning. So, here's my veggies, I'm gonna go ahead and add them, be careful guys, because it is gonna jump. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Cebolona. But now we're just gonna let um, our veggies cook. Once our veggies are cooked, I'm literally just gonna add a pedazo de, um, like a little bunch of cilantro in there to give it this nice, like, flavor. And, and voila, simple as that. We have a, we have a lot of celery, but we, we have our veggies. They fall in the bottom because they're heavier. Carrots and potatoes are heavier now, and then they'll get light later. But that's it, guys. Simple, right? All right, we'll be back once it's done completely. What's up, everyone? So we're back, and this is done. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I went ahead and I added the cilantro, like I said, I was gonna add. So I, this is how I check that my vegetables are done. I grab a knife, I put it through the potatoes. See how it went in good? Through the carrots, very easily. So those are done. So now to check that our bondigas are done. I'm not going to tell you guys. I can't tell if I don't do what I'm going to do. I have to go through a knife as well. See if it's tender. See how easily it went in. And just I have to see the color inside. You guys can't see it. But there's no pink. So that's what we want. No pink in there. And that means that they're done. And this my friends oh my goodness it smells so good all right so this is done ready to eat all right I'll be right with you guys actually let me serve it while we I'm gonna grab a kids plate because this is what I had clean in hand I mean I have all my dishes clean but they're all put away so no más me voy a servir I'm just gonna honestly I'm just gonna try a little bit because I just ate my caldo de pollo which was bomb. So I'm just going to try a little bit for you guys. Because I'm extremely full. Cool, but I can make something and not try it, right? Ooh, sneeze. Where am I at? Where am I at? Right here. How do you? Nope. Backwards. That's my neck. Hey. Let's go up. Alright. So... See, I'm literally just, well, you guys can't see because of the green plate, but I'm able to cut my, my albondiga up really fast. This is how it looks, guys. Delicious. Now, let me be careful, though, because I just, you guys saw me, I just took it out. It's super hot. I love smelling my food. I love the smell, like, new stuff, like, papers and, like, just like, like you know, all the school supplies, like all the office supplies. I like, I'm weird. I like going to office depot and just smell this shit. Well, I obviously buy some because I don't want to be that weird, but I like smelling this stuff. All right, let's try it. Mmm. 
God damn, this albondiga tastes really good. You know what? You know you know how to cook, and you know your food tastes good. But sometimes you even try and you're like, damn, it tastes that good. It does. See? Keep following my channel, and you guys will taste your food that good. Okay, I'm gonna put it aside. So once again, I want to thank you guys for sticking along with me this long in the video. I want to give you guys a big hug. If I can, just hug yourself. But I appreciate you guys' support sticking along. Um, I will go ahead and uh, be grateful if you guys give me a thumbs up if you guys like my video. Go ahead and go ahead and try my, um, my recipe. It's pretty easy to follow. Literally just put the things together, let it cook itself. It does it, it, does it by itself. It's simple. Um, you can be, you can do this and then while you do this, you can clean your kitchen or whatnot, help your kids with the homework, because it takes about like 40 minutes, I want to say, just because you want the carne, the meatball to be pretty cooked. Um, but go ahead and uh, give me a comment down below. Let me see what you guys think about your, my video, about my recipe, any ideas, anything you guys would like for me to try. I know I'm going to upload one tonight the video tonight and then i'm gonna upload this one sometime this week so um i also did like a fruit salad so keep your eye out for that one and i'm gonna make my signature recipe this week um birria i love 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 my birria and i'm gonna go ahead and make it because i have a little graduation party for my daughter so I'm gonna do that. I might as well record it, right? If I wanna make it um, simple, it's it's really easy too, though. A lot of people, it's like you think birria. I'm like, oh my god, a lot of work. Super, it's as easy as doing this, if not easier, probably. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much. Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right below uh, the notification bell, and go follow me on my IG page, Living with Jojo 2019. So, yeah, guys. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one.